everyone, and welcome to another Xcode tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to make a times tables app for like kids who have to learn their multiplication tables. So to get started, I'm going to open up Xcode and create a new Xcode project. It's going to be a single view application, and I'm going to call it times tables. It's going to be Swift and iPhone, and I'm just going to save it on the desktop. And I'm, I'm going to go to main.storyboard. And on here, I'm just going to drag on a slider. And a table view. Make this nice and wide. And once we drag on the table view, we are going to... Set constraints. So I'm going to go here and say add missing constraints. And I'm going to select the table view, go to the attributes inspector, and for the dynamic prototype cells, I'm just going to put one. And the identifier will be cell. And, um, I'm also going to go here to the um, select the table view and go to the connections inspector. And the table view will not display anything if you do not put the data source and the delegate linked up. I'm gonna link the you have to link them up to the view controller, like just like that. And we are also going to create the outlet for the slider. I'm going to call it slider. Um, create an outlet for the table view. I'm going to call it view, table view. And I'm going to create an action for the slider. Again. <clears throat> and I'm going to call it value changed. And put it right there. Now I'm going to close the assistant editor. Go to vcontroller.swift. And in value changed, all I'm just going to put is table view dot result reload data. And I'm going to set the delegate for the um, for the table view. And here I'm just going to put table view dot delegate equals self and just put self here and we will need some UI table view function so I'm just going to go to the UI table view um, place and go down to the UI table view data source we're going to need this one and the cell for row and index path. So I'm just going to copy these two. Go to view controller at Swift and paste them right here. And we will just put brackets. And in here I'm just nope. I'm going to return twenty. And we will also need some, a little bit of code, a second. We will need some code that um, I have. This is one of my other time tables. And we just need this much. And just put that right there and I'm going to change this from slider value to slider and that's it and now we can run and we should 
this is the middle, so if you go all the way down, it's just gonna be zero, 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 and one, 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 all the way to 20, so it goes from zero to 20. Add one each, then add two each, three, four, five, so on, so on, so on. So this is the end of our times table tutorial. So guys, thank you guys for watching, and I hope you see in my other videos. Bye-bye.